Hello guys, it's your boy, Icy Boy Gaming here, back with another video, and I am glad today, because guess what? Through searching something, my mom found my old Pokemon binder that was missing for four years, if not five. Well, actually almost five, but about four years. It's been a while, and I got a couple EXs in here, and a couple, like, Double uh, Pokemon type characters. Uh, I'm not really sure how much they're worth and all, but like it was back then when I was collecting. Most of these Pokemon cards say 2016. I mean, they should because that's when I opened them and that's when I started collecting Pokemon cards. Thanks to my friend. So let's open the book. Let's see what we see. And off the bat, I have two EXs, and I may, I know it may look be a little bit bright. I turned up the bright, brightness on my tablet, so it might be a little bit bright. I might like, fix that. But for now, I have a Flareon EX um, and an Umbreon EX. See, it gets less bright, bright when I actually like, get over the card and all that. The reason why I did that was because like it was super dark and dim, and like it just looked very dead. So that's why I turned up the light. Hopefully you guys can see. I know you definitely can't see this card. But this card is a... a yeah, it's on a low lymph opix. Back when the Alola region first came out. Still my least favorite Pokemon. Is the Alola. Over here we got a Pikachu EX. You know. Pretty nice and handy Pokemon card. But over here, we have a double type Pokemon. We have a metal type and a dark type. It's Pawn. I'm ex. Bruh, Pawn. Pawn Yard is right there. This is Bisharp. Yeah. I like Bisharp better. I like ninja looking type Pokemon. I also have a Machamp EX. Yep. I have a couple good EXs, I will say. Over here. Now, this page is my most nostalgic page. Because even though my first Pokemon cards was a Voltorb and a Tierno, a trainer, my first Pokemon pack and my first rare from it was this card right here. This was my first, like, if I can remember properly, this was my first real, like, Pokemon card that I can remember properly. So, I'm going to just say it was my first real Pokemon card that I got myself. And so, yeah, this is it right here, and it's still in perfect condition, no scratches on it whatsoever, which I was actually surprised, because a couple of the cards, they do have some really, really bad scratches on it, because I was I was younger back then. I didn't know, like, really to save the Pokemon cards, so some of them did get damaged. For example, this Solgaleo Giant card, it got damaged really, really badly, and, like, the aluminum-type stuff is coming off. Like, if I were to give this a PSA grade alone, it would probably be, like, three. 3 out of 10, if not less. You can't see, like, some of the lines on... Yeah, you can see that one. But, yeah, you can see some of, like, the lines and scratches on paper. That's because it was bent. That's because I didn't really, like, laminate it and all that. But, yeah, it was bent. They should make giant card, which you call it for giant cards. So that way that they don't get scratched up. Over here, we have Rayquaza EX. I don't even remember getting this card. I think I, if I did get it, I probably got it. And I forgot about it. Yeah, I will say. I did forget about this card. I do not remember getting a Rayquaza EX. Over here, I told you I had one. And look. I got a Magirna EX from the, from that movie, that Pokemon movie. A hand-built Pokemon. I was wondering what happened to the card, and there it goes. I have this weird style of Metagross. Uh, I don't know why it looks like this. It's funny, because I also have Meta, uh, Steven, and I believe his Pokemon of choice is a Metagross, which is crazy. But I don't actually remember, like, why the style's like this and all that. And then we got, this was my favorite Pokemon card right here. And actually, one of my first favorite Pokemon, Cobali Cobalion. Yeah. There is one Pokemon card that I know out of this collection that has gotten really destroyed. 
it's a grass type. It's a go-goat. And we might be getting to it soon. But I do have a couple holographics. But this, remember, this was back before I knew what a holographic was. Anyways, this, oh, no, no, no. Forget Cabaleon. Forget I said anything. This was my second favorite. And actually, this still is probably my favorite Pokemon. Can you run? Black can you run? It's just something about, like, how he looks. He just looks super fire. I'm not even going to lie. Like, look at that. Like, if he was a character in a video game and he had abilities, I would always pick this dude. That, that's what it would be like. And then I also have a Galele EX. I actually do remember getting this Galele EX, and I was also wondering where I could find this. Turns out it's in the binder. And anyway, speaking of Ninja, we have a Greninja Holographic. Yep, a Green Ninja holographic. It's actually pretty sick. I like how the Ninja Stars look. It don't. At first, I thought it was Ash Green Ninja, but it's actually not. Anyways, I got an Alakazam EX. Yep, an Alakazam EX. And on top of that, I also have another double, what to call it. It's a Zoomeril. Now, this looks weird, and I didn't know why it looks like this. But I believe this is a shiny Pokemon. I'm not really sure, but I believe this is a shiny Pokemon. And then here we go, we get to the page where we have that destroyed Pokemon card. Basically what happened was I think I had dumped water on it or something. Like I dumped something on it and it got it stuck to the ground. And so yeah, it got super messed up. I still keep it there as an example of how to not use a, have a Pokemon card basically. So then we have this right here, Porygon Z. Uh, I still don't remember why the style looks like this, but I think it looks sick. It reminds me of when Pain was about to do the Almighty Push. It, that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like Porygon Z is now standing over Kanoha. Then I have a couple Ultra Rares. Not Ultra Rares, I mean, um, Holographics. Mm -hmm. Now, this is something I'm really confused about, are break cards. I never, like, really understood them, but I have a couple of them. But, yeah, guys, that's about it. Comment down below what your favorite Pokemon card is out of the collection. I would say mine's what had to be Umbreon. Yeah. Umbreon was very sick. I like that one. Also, uh, yeah, I think, like, I just think it's really awesome. So comment down below what your favorite Pokemon card is, and I will see you guys next time. Boom.